Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Is it rolling? Mm -hmm. All right. still at the build and I happen to meet this amazing person Tamara and she lives in this awesome looking schoolie and after seeing this rig I really want to get a school bus now but we just got our van so anyway so I decided to do a quick tour and uh, hear her story because she has super amazing cool story to tell and uh, I really want to share it so let's come inside and uh, here's Tamara right? <laughs> yes Tamara. Tamara. Hi. Yeah, so do you want to tell us a little bit about um, how you started this lifestyle? Because you, you said you lived in the, in the car, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So initially, so I've had a bit of an, oh, you're welcome to sit down. Yeah, I've had a bit of an unconventional lifestyle since like yeah. 2006. Yeah. Um, but I hurt my spine and so I thought that meant I had to go work in an office. And so I went and did that for a year. And then luckily my department got outsourced, yeah. uh, which is good because it was just not a very natural or healthy or you know uh, balanced life yeah. and so um, I was just uh, so sick from that experience you know like yeah. that I just wanted to do the opposite thing and experience everything I'd been missing out of so I got rid of everything I mm. owned and I packed up my car which is what I had at the time yeah. and I was like I'm gonna travel for like three or four months and that's what I was thinking yeah. and that's why I did it in a car it's because what I had and also because I didn't know that it was gonna turn into a lifestyle so I didn't think I was gonna be living in my car I was just doing this like adventure yeah. you know and then at the end of, you know, I just kept extending my travel plans because there was more stuff I wanted to do, more people I wanted to visit, more thing, you know, places I wanted to see. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then it just kind of occurred to me like this works as a lifestyle. Yeah. And um, I've worked uh, since 2006 as a backcountry guide. And so I'm accustomed to like sleeping on rocks and dirt yeah. and like getting along with nothing but what I can carry on my back. And so for me, it wasn't, I did, I, it wasn't a lifestyle of deprivation or discomfort, yeah. you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, I adapted to it really well and I was actually quite happy living in my car but I did want for things like a fridge so that I could have fresh food you know and mm. that was the big thing honestly and then you know my work puts me in the dirt a lot so I get real dirty so it's been nice to have a shower yeah. and then also like I can socialize in here and when I was traveling in my car like I said my needs were met and I was perfectly happy but I feel like there's a I was homeless. I don't feel homeless anymore because yeah. like when you have things like a bed and a shower and a fridge and seating and like you can stand up, mm -hmm. it's a home, yes. right? Yes. And so that the other thing was a container that I could sleep in and keep my crap in, yeah. you know, but mm -hmm. this is a home. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, so the way that I made that transition after being in my car for about two years, mm -hmm. um, I made the new year's resolution that I wanted to have a home I could stand up in. And that's as I was making it that broad. Yeah. I just wanted to have a home I could stand up in. In my heart, I was like, I just want schoolie so bad, you know. Yeah. But anyways, then Jamie, I met him at this event last year. Mm -hmm. And then he contacted me after RTR this year and said, I want to do a video series documenting one conversion from start to finish. Mm -hmm. Will you be the recipient? Yeah. And uh, I was blown away. Like, it took me about three days, yeah. you know, to, like, even say yes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and, um, and it still blows me away. Yeah. You know, like that. Because I would have met my goal, but it would have been like rusty floors and a mattress. Yeah. You know, and then go from there. Mm -hmm. And then over the course of years, I might have got it somewhere near yeah. this level. But um, really, this is just the most incredible. Like, yeah. I couldn't have dreamed something more perfect. Yeah, that's it's amazing. Got, mm -hmm. It's truly really amazing. It literally has everything a home has, you know. Yeah. So and it and space. Yeah. It's what I love about the schoolie is the width and the height. Mm -hmm. Um the length is a little tricky for like maneuvering and parking and things like that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the bigger the vehicle, the harder it is to park. Oh and my gosh. Drive, like, yes, parking is the bane of my existence. My life is really good. Parking yeah. is the worst thing in it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but I love the natural light and I love the airflow. Yeah. So, yeah. but the downsides of having a schoolie is the gas mileage and then you're not what? stealth yeah. and parking. Mm -hmm. But everything else is Amazing. awesome. Everything else is perfect. I yeah. love having the short bus. Yes. 
It's so it looks amazing. Do you want to show us around a little bit and yeah, show for us sure. what the stuff is? So this is just shy of a full size bed. I don't know what they call it, but I put I use full size bedding yeah. and that fits. And then I have storage above, and um, I just keep my clothes up there in mesh bags. Yeah, I'm a slob, I guess. I do have nice. my closet that has just my dresses in it. Okay. So nice. And then, um, and then I have storage below the bed that I can access from the front or I can access from the back. That's awesome. Um, or there's a pulley I can um, attach and then access stuff from, like pull it up and then access from above. Okay, that's cool. And then I have tons of like cupboards and drawers yes. and this was my touch. I added uh, my friend Jason and I did that. Yeah, it looks amazing. I love it. My favorite part of this life yeah. versus car life is having a fridge because yeah. I like to eat healthy, you know, yeah, and now I can have salads and, you know, um, and have fresh, fresh food. food. Yes. Fridge and then important. got the stove so I can cook and I've got um, a sink, which is great. You don't have to brush your teeth at Walmart. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then I have this um, shower, which this is like something people are pretty impressed by. So this just goes on the stove to heat up and then you just pressurize it and then the shower head is attached up here. Nice. And then the little valve to turn it on or off or to adjust the pressure. And then um, I just pull everything out. I just gave away my toilet. It was donated by some really nice folks, but I just never used it because I didn't want to deal with yeah. cleaning it. Mm -hmm. So I handed that off to Jamie and then he handed his off to someone else. Nice. You know, So, um, cause I just pee in an applesauce jar and then yeah. if I'm out in the desert, I just dig a hole. And if I'm in the city, toilets are everywhere. So. Yeah. Where, and did, then, where did you get that thing from? This was donated, so, you know, he had that Amazon wish list. This was donated by a really, really generous woman called Robin Barnes, who later I was able to actually connect with, and I nice. watched her dogs for her. Nice. So <laughs> I love that, you know, yeah. it comes around. Like, mm -hmm. I still feel greatly in her debt. It was the least I could do. Because yeah. she also donated, like, the fridge and the water filter. Wow. and like it's amazing. Yeah, and it's really nice that I can, you know, I have the storage up here, you oh, know, and I'm going to get, this. like, uniform, nice, cute boxes yeah. instead of this, like, garbage bag. Um, but it's nice that I can sit here and socialize or I can like work on things mm -hmm. and then I've got extra space over here that I can hang more clothes and I keep my reflectix over here nice. and I love that you kept the original seats, seats from I think the school it's cute. bus that is so cool and it's the same color as the fridge and yeah. like the bedding so I want to get some cute bright colored floral curtains mm -hmm. and like a colorful runner and mm -hmm. colorful bedding you know to kind yeah. of make it my own a little bit I love that it's like neutral and natural and earthy because mm -hmm. that really reflects me but also I want some color in here. yeah definitely. <laughs> yeah. and so, then you have the original so fire escape right the original fire escape yes which is yeah. fantastic for airflow because I've got the max fan up there and so if yeah. I have the max fan on and this open then that circulates a lot of air yeah that's so, awesome you can see I drink water yeah, I reuse those glass bottles for like drinking water. Yeah. And then you have LED lights, right? I see them over here. Yeah, I have the LED lights and they change colors and they yeah. strobe and stuff. Yeah, so it's, it's cool. It's like a little party thing. Uh -huh. And yeah. then I have 240 um, watts of solar. Okay. And um, and then I have a propane heater and the stove's on propane and everything else is on propane. On solar. Solar. Uh, yeah, on solar yeah. uh, what kind of batteries do you use for your solar, for your house batteries? Um, you know, because Jamie did everything, I don't know yeah. how to answer these questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I should write all of it down so I can answer these things. He's charging it right now. Okay. That's what's happening is he's just topping it off for me, which is cool. Looks yeah. like you have about 200 amp hours. Yeah. And AGM batteries. Inverter. Everything is labeled. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That looks amazing. I know. Yeah. This place just feels so good to me. It really feels like the home that I dreamt up. Yeah. You know? It feels very homey. It feels very comfortable in here. I well, love and it. I think part of it is just because the craftsmanship's amazing. Yeah. But I think another part of it is because this community gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Like this community as a whole, like yeah. collectively gave it to me. Yeah. You know? Like they were donating for the project, sure, because it's a resource for people and people love watching Jamie and stuff like that. But I'm just the lucky recipient, so I feel like there's just a whole lot of generosity mm -hmm. in this home. Yeah. And I think yeah. it feels good in here because of that. Yeah, you know? definitely. Even, like, our van, once we uh, once we moved in, I put, like, my clothes on there and just, like, small touches. Like, it's so small, but it feels like home. Like, totally. it was, like, the other night I sat down, I was like, oh, mm -hmm. it feels good to be home. Like, yeah. after a long day of, like walking around and stuff, I was like, ah, oh, it feels good to be home. <laughs> yeah, and it's so nice yeah. that it's such a quick and easy escape, too. Yeah, you know, if you need is. to, like, go recharge from, mm -hmm. you know, or whatever, and hide from the world, it's right there with you, you, you know? You don't have to drive home, because you're always there. Because you're always <laughs> home. I actually got stuck up a mountain, because I went to this retreat in, uh, in Utah, and then had to leave the night before everyone yeah. else. 
well, there were gates on the way down the mountain because I guess it's all like private up there. And um, but I was like, I don't care, I live here. Yeah. So I just slept for eight hours until someone came along in the morning and nice. unlocked the gate. So yeah, that's awesome. it was perfect. <laughs> awesome. Uh, do you have any awards of wisdom for like people who uh, want to do this lifestyle or like starting out and like? have anything in your tips uh, for people who are just you know because I always fantasized about it you yeah. know but I thought like oh that's for other people mm -hmm. that's not for me so I think a great way to kind of like is just stick your toe in the water mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I inadvertently did was just tested it out inadvertently mm -hmm. I accidentally started this lifestyle so yeah. just tell yourself I have nothing to lose in just trying it out yeah. I feel like getting getting free getting out of debt really you know if you can do that first sets mm -hmm. you up for it but also like if there's any way you can do it and you want to do it do it yeah. don't wait till everything's perfect don't wait till you've got it all figured out yeah. you know um, I mean be reasonable be smart but just like when you can just dive in and get started the yeah. start is the hardest part of anything yeah and then that's from true. there you're like oh what took me so long yeah so and That's then so. for people starting out enjoy it be grateful yeah. just mm -hmm. like see the little gifts yeah. everywhere and mm -hmm. just like yeah just be consciously happy yeah yeah awesome. whatever you're doing be yeah. consciously happy and enjoy <laughs> awesome. it awesome thank yeah. you well, thank you so much for giving us a tour of your amazing home. Thanks. I love it, and it makes me really want to get a school now. <laughs> Everybody says that. Yeah, I would say, at this it. event in three years, yeah. I think there's going to be like, it's going to be littered with schoolies. Yeah, I love it. Well, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, and thank you for uh, telling your story to us and to everybody who's watching. And uh, I think it's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Smile. 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 Smile.